is one name of mine. Parasite. Kiko is another name. Zagum. Vengeance. I started off, my name was Liquid. They used to call me Liquid back in the days. And then I joined Boogie Brats. And Frankie, the popper in our crew, Frank Boogie, he um he goes, yo, bro, every time you go out, you go out with a vengeance. I was like, yeah. He's like, yo, I'm calling you vengeance from now on. And I was like, I was like, yeah, that's dope. But I never really liked the name. But then it just caught on to me. I created Origami, and when I created it, I wanted it to be, I wanted it to be, like, a style that people could do and understand it, and be like, yo, this is Origami, I, what I'm doing right now is Origami, Migas made it up, but I, I, I still like this style, and that's what I want to do. I have no problems with that. I so, think it's fresh. It's from the start, I wanted to invent, invent something new. I just wanted to change the game because like everybody was doing moves but it really never caught on for other people and then I decided I was like you know what I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to learn something new with footwork because like people weren't really doing footwork so I decided I decided to um, learn from Kenny Kenny does a lot of footwork crazy legs so the footwork they were doing, I started, I started learning, changing it up to a specific style that I liked. And then I just created and just, it just became origami. Then if they saw Storm or Cream, They'll be like, you know, those guys are good, but that's just not what I want to do. It's not fun. I made my style fun. You know what I mean? And I made it feel good to the body. I took I took moves from yoga. I took moves from capoeira. I took moves from native dancing, kung fu videos. And I just joined it all together, and then I came up with that style. No one even clapped. No, everybody was so shocked. They were like, wow, that's, that's crazy. What did, what did you just do? And I was like, I was looking, I would dance and I would get up and I would do my moves. And then I would look at the crowd to see the reaction. And the crowd never had the reaction. So I thought I was garbage. I thought my style wasn't good. But then I found out the crowd, the reason why they were, they were, they were amazed at how much style I had, how it's like origami, like the Japanese people, they took they took paper, they folded it into different ways to make birds or ducks or lions or whatever. That's what we did with our body. You know what I mean? We 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 formed one move in, into another move to another move to another move. So you're folding the paper and you're putting it together. That's what we're doing with our dance, to make a sculpture. The definition of origami has been set by these guys. I personally didn't try to be like these guys. And we got close to um, uh, Gadget from Boogie Brats. That was my first contact with Boogie Brats and he got a real influence on, on me and um, on the rest of Sweet Technique as well and I guess there's something about a real a real desire and a real 
pleasure in the body when they dance and they throw mm -hmm. themselves here and there. And Miga said it like, I made my shit to be fun, like I made my shit to feel good in my body. And yeah, it, it, it's like it, it all makes sense that we, we found each other. <laughs> by a lot of people. Kenny. This guy named Gizmo from Bag of Tricks. Cream. Bond. Troll from Street Master. Flea Rock. Abstract. All those guys, we all have something similar. Mm. We're not doing the same moves. Mm. Like, he'll do a move, and I'll try to do that move, and the way I do it will be totally different. Rock City, back in the days, they stopped. And the Germans, they, they, they kept going. And then eventually when they came back to New York and all the Rock Steady members started dancing again, the German guys were way ahead of them. Like Crazy Legs had his little swipes. He had his footwork, his little belly mills. Kenny had his freezes, his footwork both ways. But Storm and those guys? Head spins to 90s, the flares. <laughs> they were doing power moves both ways. Their footwork were, was amazing because of the German guys. Made me want to keep going. They influenced me. I couldn't believe it. I mean, I grew up watching Rocksteady, Beat Street. You know what I mean? Everyone remembers Beat Street. Karaoke, he died. He was my favorite b-boy. Head spin to footwork, into backspin, into windmills. That was the craziest. I, I see b-boys coming in the battles and just doing whatever they need to do for points. Because they're brainwashed from what make from what b-boys are saying. Oh, you're not a real b-boy if you have no footwork. Well, that's true, but they're taking it too too serious. Like. I'm gonna do a little bit of style, a little bit of originality, <laughs> and, then a and like being original for me, it's not like doing the moves that the other ones do when they look. Or it, it looks like there's like a consensus. There's it looks like there's a consensus on what is original but then if there's a consensus on it and everyone does the same originality it makes no sense for me original has something like the origin like where does it come from and and when you just follow your own like intuition like you become like original because you're yourself instead of trying to do what originality is supposed to be it's necessary to have people having different visions so that every vision have has a value because it's singular because it's saying something and everyone says the same thing no one's saying anything there's something in the breaking that is like i don't give a fuck let me do whatever the fuck i want so i prefer seeing a power mover like a guy that fucking loves power moves 
I prefer true, seeing true. him do power moves than trying to be the good student and doing like footwork and doing hands like this just to fake it. The, the battle is the place to to share. It's the place where people see. It's the it's the context where we we break one of them. And um, and uh, I, I, like I told you earlier, I, I like to surprise myself. Um, I like to come in and not know what I'm gonna do and just let the flow happen and be like, what just happened? And then I don't know. So, so that's what I'm searching for. And I'm searching to have a good connection. And, and I'm like, I play with the battle game. Like it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a game. If you accord value to what you did more than the value that you accord to what the other did, you won. If you came out and you're like, oh, I tried to do something and it didn't come out and actually I'd, I'd rather be dancing like him. That's when you lose. That's when you're like, I'd rather be dancing like him. Yeah. So so for me, you, in order to be satisfied and to accord value to what you do, you need to choose what you do. And when b-boys starts like hearing like, all oh, real b-boys need to do this and do that. And then they start doing like stuff that they're not even comfortable with. And then they see someone doing what they, they would like to do, then it, they feel like shit. It has to be bad about battling. That's how it started. Mm. Everybody back in the days battled to uh, make themselves better. It helped. It helped with their style. Yeah. It helped get them their name. You know what I mean? So we would go into a cipher battling someone, we would fight to get in the circle. We would fight each other even though we were a crew. And I mean yeah, it's just like that. That's how that's how it is with me and K. Like K loves me and I love K. Yeah, it was raw. It, that's how that's how it is with me and Kay. Like, I love battling because he gets so angry at me. Look, my moves was way more hard than all that bullshit, slip and slide shit. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're fucking up. You got toast. Your form wasn't even right. You got over. What time is your form? This nigga, yo, you did that twist move. You, you, you actually, you did the fucking rainbow two times. What do you mean I did the rainbow two times? Yo, you did that before I broke that shit. Everybody back in the days battled to uh, make themselves better. It helped. It helped with their style. It helped get them their name. Everyone should have their own opinions. But a real b-boy is gonna know when someone's not doing what they should be doing. That was a good battle. Next time practice, I'll burn you. We need to get it right now. Let's get it. Mulch. No, you exactly. You got fucking fried. If you don't like me, I don't care. I'm gonna yeah. battle you for not liking me. You break it slow like that. Break too fast. What are you talking about? You break slow. Are you stupid? Not, that's not fast, nigga. Fast, quick. None of that slow bullshit. Time ain't trying to catch a move. Uh uh. Don't remember when I did the rainbow poop? Boom, thread all the way through. Freeze. Destroyed that shit. Okay. Come on, brother. Come on, put it. What? You wanna see the tape? Mm -hmm. Put it on, put it on the I think, I think as it's becoming more of a sport, I, instead of like complaining like, oh, it's becoming a sport, like, that's good. It makes people dance and do positive stuff. But, and if, if you love the dance in some other forms, well, just keep the other types of forms alive and both can coexist and you choose what you value. And there will always be people that, because it's a human feeling to be intuitive and to, to have that eager to, to love to love your own self through movement. And, and this like even through big competition world, like guys like Pac Pac, guys like Rob from Style Invaders, um, like these are the people that keep their, their fucking, yeah, they're, they're into it. Fleo, um, yeah, a bunch of people. So whatever competitions it becomes, the eager that Migas has is something that, that is human and that other people will keep on just finding in their own selves. If what you love is 
is like the eager to battle, the spontaneity, the freestyle. Like, if that's what you deeply love, it's gonna come out. Like, like Pac Pac came out at a time where it's all like big competitions, and and look at how he's just throwing himself all around. Like, it's a human thing. So maybe we're gonna see less and less, but but it's a human thing. And if it doesn't exist in breaking anymore, it will exist in other forms of dance anyway. Like. But yeah, I think it's a human feeling, and and even if Migus was born like today, and he was entering the big competition, I don't think I would see him having the attitude of like a a good student. He, like Migus is Migus. Migus is like hitting on it, so he would come to the big battles and do the big moves, but he would hit on it with with passion, and and freedom and fun. So it's intuition. It's human. I realize what I've done for the generation that that I'm in and for the younger generation. I'm happy for what I'm doing, I'm happy for everyone getting better. And I just want us to like build like just like how we did it in the garage with me and Boogie Brats. Me and Nathan. We would go in, in in the cipher, one after the other, and we would keep going after one after one after one after building up our, up our moves, sharing our moves. I just want to get back into it. It's how I was before, in my prime. And I'm gonna, once I get back to that, I'm going to keep it that way forever. I give props to all the people out there, all the b-boys and b-girls that like to flow. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta love what you do. You gotta love what you do. Yeah, if you, if, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you don't love what you do, quit. Quit dancing. <laughs> like, what the hell, man?